Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys a cool item that was available at my local convenience store. They are doing a special uh, promotion at 7-Eleven with uh, Dobutsu no Mori or Animal Crossing. And this isn't specific to any one particular version of this game. It's just a common kind of... Um, uh, lotto chance, lucky chance, lucky drawing. We call them kuji in Japan. You pay uh, 630 yen, I think it is, for a ticket. And then you draw from a big bucket of cards and then you open it up and it'll let you know which rank of prize you got. I got E. I think in this series that is the lowest prize level or almost the lowest prize level. They had as the ultimate prize a hot tea kettle kind of that you you can have warm water always boiling in that had the uh, Animal Crossing logos on it and then some of the next level of prize was pillows that had some of the characters and then the next range of prizes were amiibos which actually already have all of them so it didn't really matter to me to get one but <laughs> um, and then these are hand towels and I just thought they were super cute and really kind of wanted to get one and the nice thing is you can pick which one is left of the things that are available. Each store only has a certain number of things available. So whoever wins these first gets first pick of what they want. Now there's five different parts in this series of this little towel, a handkerchief towel. And you can kind of see here what some of the other choices are. Let me see if I can zoom in on it better here. This one here has uh, like some of the kind of like a, a mermaid theme. It's kind of hard to see. I apologize for that. Uh, there's this one here, like with the turtle guy. This has like the coffee guy on it. And this one has uh, the little brothers from the store. And then, of course, this guy with the little doggy blade. So, uh, Totakeke. Tota <laughs> He's pretty cool. So, I really wanted him, so that's who I got. And I'll kind of open it up and show you guys what it looks like. But it is, you know, 620 yen for this, which is kind of expensive when you consider for just a handkerchief towel. It's kind of like, oh, wow, that's kind of pricey. But it's Animal Crossing. Normally, a new handkerchief towel in Japan is at least is about 500 yen, unless you get a really cheap one from, like, the 100 yen store. So when you think about that, it's not that much more. Wow, this is really hard to open. Sorry, you guys. Really loud. I apologize. right out of there and you get this nice cute little towel with him on it that's adorable you can't see that because it's not focused but it is very cute so <laughs> he's adorable there now that's pretty now you can actually see it the uh, back you know is still kind of visible but the front is really the best side there and it has Animal Crossing written across the top there so if you're a fan of Animal Crossing and certainly of him a KK Slider, however you might see, know him, uh, depending on the version of the game that you play. Uh, it certainly is kind of a cool one to get, you know. I, I would probably say, you know, uh, he's one of my more favorite kinds of characters from the game. So getting a chance to have his exclusive handkerchief, kind of, that's available only through a lottery lucky, lucky drawing kind of chance with the ticket at 7-Eleven in Japan, that's a pretty cool deal. So... I would recommend if you guys know you're going to be coming to Japan to definitely check out the convenience stores because a lot of times they're running some kind of a promotion with some kind of character in whether it be things like I've shown you guys before where you buy two chocolates and you get a, a special file or a special notebook, something simple like that to some of these kinds of things which are drawings. So um, I thought it was kind of a cute idea, but it is more just the general uh, concept of the particular game. It's not a specific version of the game or it doesn't really have anything to do with the pocket camp version that's for for ios and stuff it's a little different than that so it's just the general characters but still very cool so if you guys uh get a chance i would highly recommend you know checking it out and i'll have some more fun things to share with you guys in the days to come thanks again always so much for watching and i will see you all next time bye